What's up, everybody? I'm Dear Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we are back and we are playing Assassin's Creed Mirage. Thank you to Ubisoft for giving us early access to the game. I am going to be going over the combat, some sort of skills, some weapons, and nothing late game. This is pretty early in, so don't worry, you're not getting any spoilers. I just want to give you a little preview of some of the things you can look to encounter and do in the game for people that are looking to check the game out. So, I'm paying without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so we're going into the game. One, the game looks beautiful. This is a stealth game. I will just say that. Don't you can you can you can try to go against like a mob of enemies, but I recommend if you want to play the game as intended to be a stealth playthrough, which makes it fun because it changes the way you kind of approach different situations. But I love that. Let's go ahead and get into the combat. So what combat do we have available to our character? So we have our standard attack. If you hit R1 on the PlayStation, you have your standard attack. If you look on the bottom left, I have my stamina gauge, which is the orange. It heals after I stop attacking. As I'm attacking, I utilize it as well. So we have our standard attack, but also if we hold R1, we do our heavy attack. And that's our heavy attack, does good damage as well. So on our, if you hit R1, R2, it goes into our tools. These are our tools available to us. I'll show them in a second. If you hit L1, you do a parry attack. You can parry attacks that are in white, and I'll show in a second. And you cannot parry red attacks, which is the unblockable attacks. But you can get some skills later on that allow you to counter those as well. But that's how you parry. When you hit L2, this is where you use whatever tool you currently have equipped. I have two equipped at the current moment. You start off with the throwing knives. As you imagine, you throw knives. Then you get a chance to pick other skills you want. I went with this one, the blow dart, because it's cool. I'm doing the whole stealth build. Allows me to throw a little at the enemies, put them to sleep, and I can one choose to assassinate them, or I can just leave them asleep, walk past them, and continue on with the mission. So let me just go ahead and show you guys a little bit of combat so you can see what I'm talking about. Then we'll get into the skills, etc. So we're in a restricted area. That's where you know you're gonna fight. You can't fast travel out of here, so there's a bunch of enemies here. So how would I approach the situation? I would one crouch down, stealth around. You can whistle to bring people enemies near you. I might want to go around. Also, you have your eagle vision. You push the left directional button in, and it tells you what direction you're looking in. So this guy kind of caught on to me right now. So I can come over here. He's coming. I can either. He's coming straight over here. Go to him. Assassinate him. After you do that, sometimes you might want to carry them. That way, they're out of the way. And you can do two things. You can place them or you can just throw them. I'll leave, I'll leave that to do it right there. And when it comes, uh, next I'll use my blowtorch. My so that. Get to sleep. There's two more. Oh, one in front of me. So I, I can switch and go to my throwing knife. Boom. Take him out. Go up to this dude, assassinate him, and just like that, we dealt with it pretty quickly. And that's kind of a low impact way of going through some of the levels because once you start going against multiple enemies at a time, it gets a little a little wild. So next, I'm gonna show you guys a focus attack. Cool thing is you press in R3, and what it does is it allows you to quickly assassinate two targets at one time. And it takes away a gauge every single time you utilize it. So we'll go ahead and take that out. Boom, boom. Let me show you what the combat looks like. So you lock on R3. You get the white attacks like that, you can parry by hitting L1. Cool thing about those is after you hit R1, you can kill the enemy instantly like that, which is pretty cool. You block the stagger. If it hits you with a heavy attack that glows red, at that point, you cannot parry those. So you want to make sure you're, that you just dodge out the way. Hit that, and the enemy's done. I recommend the stealth parry playstyle because it allows you to quickly deal with a lot of these smaller enemies. You're gonna see some other enemies that are pretty big. They have like armor on them, or when you, if you look on the bottom right, you see my little eye symbol. I have three levels of it glowing. When you fight enemies that have that symbol on them, those you can't insta parry, insta kill when you parry them. You can only get a chance to get a couple hits in because they're pretty strong. So watch out for those dudes. I'll purposely aggro these two guys so you can kind of see what 
it looks like when you're fighting multiple enemies at once we got the quick parry on him so that attack right there you can unparry it you just have to dodge out the way so that's what i will recommend the parry window is really forgiving so it's that's a good thing so now that we went over combat let's go ahead and go over some of the skills as well so all three skill trees you have, you have access to them early in the game and you get skill points in this game by going through the story there's no xp you gain by fighting enemies so as you progress the story you get skill points skill points you utilize you can allow you to use them in skill points allow you to unlock new skills so you got the kick skill you parry you can kick an enemy back this one i recommend really early because break fall you can fall from a very very far, far distance and not take any damage we'll take a little bit of damage but you don't die this one increases your focus capacity one level this one allows for chain assassinations increasing another level this one allows you to slow down time in the air and hit the enemy so if you're going for a real assassin build you go this route this is the one i was talking about earlier it allows you to dodge towards the enemy and allows you to counter their unblockable strike so that one's really useful as well for combat last but not least increase your focus bar one more i mean focus boost allows you to refill your focus even faster the way you get your focus up is by doing assassination so you get more points that way moving to trickster trickster is you want to have a fun time doing all kind of miscellaneous thing and utilizing your tools so for trickster this one has auto collect you automatically still kill or assassination loot enemies this one allows you to get extra tools and there's none of them extra tools this one increases your elixir by one which is good that you can carry this one's a really good one for especially for stealth kills as well stealth builds knife recovery after you throw in your knife at enemy and they're gone you can retrieve your dagger pick pocket master whenever you pickpocket is a small engage window that you have to tap triangle in mean, the small and within that time frame it increases it an engineer allows you to pick a secondary skill for your tools because when you start off, you're going to pick one, so it's allows you to pick two. Predator, this one's really for people that want to utilize your bird. So it allows you to find, find more things for you. It has more perception is increased, make it tagging enemies easier. Kind of things like if you like utilizing the bird, this is kind of some of the stuff you encounter. Emergency aim, this one's cool. By holding L2, you snap your aim, meaning like you can dodge, you could be crouching around, come out, snipe an enemy, and kind of go back. And you remain undetected so in every skill tree there's kind of like a kind of a melee skill that i recommend picking up get whatever you need to to get to here get that one if you're going to get one from here i would get the knife recovery which should be great which will pair perfectly with this this one this one increases the patrol path of enemies tells you where they're going so you can avoid them which is cool vision boost increases the range nice amount knees stealth recon automatically highlights enemy when crouched or undetected that one's a really good one so a lot of good skills in here i'm not sure if you're going to be able to unlock all of them when you first play through but a lot of good things that you will get like that one's really good that one's really good this one's good but you want some to so unlock some tools as well and getting all of these so as you go through the game you're gonna have a good time unlocking these and trying out some different builds when it comes to equipment what do we have equipped these are our points that we utilize to level up our gear if you go to outfit your outfit doesn't necessarily do anything for your defense but it just gives you more skills as you level it up and you can get different ones throughout your gameplay next die all it does changes the color nothing fancy so that's all it does nothing swords you get multiple swords available to you and the same thing with your armor you can level them up which will make them stronger and also increase some of the effects of the skills of the weapon costume it just changes how you look in case you want to change the overall look of your character without changing your actual attributes that you're equipped kind of like layered armor talisman doesn't do anything just cosmetic as well i have it on my back right there dagger this one just like your sword you level it up it gets stronger and they have different abilities that are innate to each weapon So this has been my breakdown of combat system in Assassin's Creed Mirage. It's fun. I, I'll say it again. I stress it. I recommend stealth playstyle. It's dope. You can attack, assassinate enemies from 
a lot of different areas. I can play this one differently. I can come over here. I might even just put my man over there to sleep. Again, does he see, did he see him? He didn't even see him. So I can come over here. Oh, did he see him see me? He went to go check on him. Assassinate him. I could even just bum rush these dudes real quick. Then get him quickly. Assassinate him. I'm out. Cool thing about this game is if you run away and hide somewhere, at some point they'll still stop chasing you. Hey, you don't have to wait too long, so just get out of the way, go somewhere, and hang out for a little bit, and next you know you'll be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, subscribe, but don't leave now. Oh, they're throwing rocks at me. Disgusting. <laughs> don't leave now. Click the video on my top right on my end screen to see some more smooth content. Stay smooth.